Night two at the UK Open, a Saturday night party, the round of 16. Why was Johnny Clayton so happy? You might say he was on cloud nine. The German giant was standing tall, but Gerwin Price, he was standing out. Could the dream maker dance his way into the quarters? Not if Kyle McKinstry had his way. And why was Super Chin displaying all kinds of of chintensity pressure cooker today on high roller radio yes it's been electric so far both the atmosphere and the arrows earlier today utter drama as willie o'connor blew a 7-1 lead and then three darts at double for the match in the last leg shootout in his match with super chin daryl gurney rob cross and mvg all surviving last leg shootouts mighty mike beat jason lowe bully boy meantime missed the bullseye on a 164 to beat voltage hit the 25 instead ouch more drama tonight we shall see. Let's start on the outer board. Secondary stage for Johnny Clayton versus Chris Doby. Hollywood's been running hot, but the story in this one, the ferret. This double 12 gave him a 6-2 advantage. Four clear and cruising. The Madhouse was next for 7-3 after two mini sessions. You think he was feeling it? Yes, he was. Evidence right here. 12th leg, he fired in this. His second of back-to-back -back 180s to put him on the 9. And guess what? You see the treble 20s in. The treble 19 was too. And so was the double 12. Perfection from the Welshman. And he absolutely loved it. That made it 8-4. Full credit to Doby. He clawed it back. A nice 117 finish here for 9-7 a break. He hold next for 9-8. But wow, 18th leg, Clayton was on the 9 again. He wouldn't get it, but he did secure the victory. 10-8, he takes down Hollywood. I'm confident, he said, I'm playing well. I had to. Tasty tie back on the main stage. Gabrielle Clemens staring down Gerwin Price and not blinking. Tied at two, he landed the lot, which he followed with three more perfect darts. The 127, treble, treble, double, beautiful. He meant business. He gave it the big roar next after breaking for 4-2. But the Iceman is one cool customer, said thanks to the darting gods after holding for 4-3, a little more anime at 4-4. It got tight from there. Welsh fans on the edge of their seat. 13th leg tied at 6. Gaga came up clutch on the 74. More celebrating. It got to 7-all, then 8-all. Clemens brilliant on the 86 finish. Double 16 for 9-8. Price would level and then against throw in the decider. He opened up 140 180, 127, and he took out the 54 in two darts. You can say what you want, but this guy is absolutely clutch. An 11 dart break to win. 10-9, your final. I thought I played well, he said. I never give up. Happy birthday. And yes, in case you don't know, it's Gezi's birthday today. Forget the Iceman. He was the precise man. Great tweet there from M. Austin 71 with the hashtag Ice Ice Baby. 11 of the best starts you will ever see. That's why he is one of the best in the world, noted Luke Jones. An 11 dart break of throw to win. Brilliant performance. Stage two now for Menser Sulevich's walk on. Some high fives and, of course, the obligatory autograph. How would he fare against Jamie Hughes? Well, not the greatest. We pick it up in the 10th leg. Yaza pounding the red bit. Very nice ton 40, which he followed two turns later with the 42 checkout on double eight. Forged in black country and leading 7 3 after two sessions. The Gentle brought it back to 7-5, but then missed five darts to break in the 13th leg, and that was the key moment. In Canada, we call it the TSN turning point. Yaza ran the table from there. Great weekend for him. Throttles Menser 10-5 to book his spot in the Elite Eight. Well done, sir. Yaza breaks new territory, announced DJ Gandolfini, his first quarterfinal in the PDC. Delight 
delighted for Yaza, he says. He's a cracking player. Under the spotlight, James Wade made his way up the stairs for a date with the world number one daunting task, MVG in the white stripes, and he had that golden glow throughout. He owned that massive stage in this one. The machine never really got going, never really in it. After dropping the first leg, MVG took five on the trot, averaging a whopping 117 along the way. 117 through 6. Fast forward now, 12th leg. The 82 checkout for 8 4. We got some emotion. It was MVG, easy as can be, much to the delight of all his fans worldwide. In the end, he averaged 110. There was no rev in James Wade. The machine faltered. 10 4, your final. Great performance from MVG, tweeted Liam Martin. Clinical on his doubles. If he plays like that, he will win the UK Open this weekend. These are not Kyle McKinstry's feet, let me tell you. Dancing Dimitri showing off his moves on intro, and yes, he certainly has some, but how about the Northern Irishman? Has moves on the Aki, raced out to a 3-0 lead. This double 10 made it 5-2. We got the stare, his confidence rising by the minute. But back came the Belgian, a sip of water at 5-4, and then after his third leg on the spin, we got multiple fist pumps. He trailed 4-0, but draws level at the commercials, 5 each. McKinstry went ahead 6-5, Vandenberg leveled, touch and go, tit for tat at 7-6, Kyle. Dimitri, though, took the next two. How about this from McKinstry? Four 19s and the double 20, the 116 checkout to break back and square things up. Incredible. But wow, 17th leg, he'd waste three on 36, slap his hands together in disgust, and the dream maker would capitalize. He was throwing for the match, and yes, he'd get there. Wins it 10 8. Again, he trailed 4 0. This right here is called relief, folks. Hugs and handshakes for McKinstry, who did give it a real go. Gary Anderson's entrance now. Hand slaps all the way in. The Flying Scotsman, the heavy favorite to beat Yelly Klassen. The Dutchman winless in his last 10 attempts against Ando. But he took it to him in the opening mini session, found a few of these along the way. This double 10 good for 3 1. Anderson would break throw in the fifth leg to get things back on serve. They trade shots from there. It was all knotted at five at the second interval. It got to six all, then seven all, then eight all on this. A last start double ten from Anderson. Somehow snuck it in there. Then he tied it up again with this. A beautiful 150. Nine nine last leg shootout. He got denied by the Dutchman. Class act. Double 12 for game, set, match, and yes, indeed, Yelly is raising Helly at the UK Open. He's into the quarterfinals with a salute to the crowd. Rob Cross versus Stephen Bunting, stage two. Voltage was having his way early, scored an early break for daylight. Nice counter from Bunting, though. The 106 finish to hold to keep it close. At 4-3, he needed that. The problem Bald was beautiful on his own throw. That is, until the 12th leg when he busted his score on 25 and the bullet made him pay on double 18. We were all square at 6-6. Six, six. It got to 7-7, seven, seven, then 8-8 eight, eight on a cross ton plus checkout, a 105 to make it a best of three. 17th leg voltage on 32 after Bunting missed a big number to leave double. Took his time and yes, nailed it. That was the key moment. He closed it out the next leg. 10 8 your final. Snake bite V super chin on the main stage. Despite shots like this from Daryl Gurney, Peter Wright grabbed an early break on a 1 2 8. He was scoring well too. Nice 180 here in the fourth leg en route to a 12 dart hold and 3 1. Gurney came good on a 1 3 6 finish for 3 2 at the interval. He left let it be known that that was important, but look at this. He left himself on 36 after 9 in leg 6. 
and got denied by the Mohawk man. Double eight for a 12 darter. He's like, ooh, that was good. And yes, it was. Cracking game. Snakebite averaging 111 plus. Super chin 108 plus. Big break for Gurney in the 10th leg. They're not in, Peter. Two wasted on double eight. And just like that, the Northern Irishman got the break he needed. Things were tied up at five. That spurred him on, too, because he proceeded to win five in a row. And then at eight, six up, he composed himself before pinning double 16. It was all over the next leg. 10-6 your final. It wasn't the luck of the Irish this time. It was all skill, baby. Good scoring, two monster checkouts, a 1-3-6, then a 1-4-8. Snakebite had eight 180s in a losing effort. Super Chin knocks out the world champ, tweeted DJ Gandolfini, letting us know that the quarterfinal draw is next. And there they are, Keith Deller, Chris Mason on stage, handling the proceedings. How about this matchup? MVG versus Voltage, that'll be the headliner. Here's how it'll play out tomorrow. Four quality tilts. It's the Elite Eight. Thrilling stuff today on High Roller Radio.